So to start with, we're going to go to the Windows Explorer, the yellow folder icon. And we need to go to the System C hard drive, then the Park Industries folder under Titan 3000, and then Utilities. And here we'll have the ZOP Laser Suite that we open up. Click the 3D Setup button on the top right. It will project a square around the table. Stop projection. Make sure that PI coordinate is selected and click Next. Click on the Search All button up on the top left corner. It will search and scan each target. When the scanning is complete, you'll get a pop-up to acknowledge that it found all four targets. Watch your max and average distance. Optimally, we want them less than one millimeter. If it's more than one millimeter, double check that the targets are flat against the table, orientated toward the laser, and scan again. Once your results are acceptable, go ahead and click Yes, and then OK to save your transformation. And then you go ahead and click on Finish to exit out of this. Next, we need to save our, our new calibration. Click on serve, Save Service Configuration. And make sure you enter the file name as shown, Z Laser Config. It needs to be lowercase Z, capital L, capital C for the laser to communicate with the front end. If you save it differently, it will not work in the Titan software. Close out of the Z laser software and open up the Titan software. One last step we'll need to do is project the calibration holes. Double check that your laser is going around the holes. If it's off in one way, we can adjust it using a laser core hole test, which we'll show you next. If they're on and you're happy with the results, you can go ahead and put the machine into service. To do the core hole test, you'll need to set up a program. And all we needed to do is to drill into the stone just a little ways. You're going to cut your job with the core hole. And after it's done, we're going to project the geometry and measure how far it's off. Once your core hole is drilled, clean off your part and on the Titan, project the geometry. Using a micrometer or a tape measure, measure in X and Y what the distance is that the projection is off. We will now need to go into the front end and make an adjustment to it. Now go into setup and then overhead laser. And you're going to want to adjust your X and Y offset for the OH laser to table. Put in your adjustments and then go back to the run screen and project the geometry again. Verify that the geometry is now around your core hole. If it's not, come back into here and make any final adjustments necessary. Once everything is lined up, you are good to put your machine back in production.